What's going on my beautiful people? Richard Harrison here from richardharrison.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the all-in-one $25 digital business step by step. I don't want this video to be too long, so let's get right into it right now. As you see, this is the actual VSL for the $25 digital business, and we're going to work this thing backwards. We're going to start with get response, and then we're going to go into actually putting the funnel together. So what we're doing right here, I'm in a fresh get response account. I'm going to come over here and click on list. And I'm going to create a list. And I'm going to name it all in one. I'm going to create it. Okay, now that list is created. I'm going to come up here to menu. Or either you can come over here to the dotted lines and come down to show auto responders. Okay, see that we don't have any. We're going to create an autoresponder. And we're going to click and make sure we choose the all-in-one list. And we're going to name this first autoresponder day one. Okay, we're going to leave it there. Now, I want to put my first email in. So we have some inside of the HBA or the Home Business Academy back office that you can get access to. So when you actually log into this page, you're going to be on the funnel builder tool, but you want to come over here to affiliate. Once you get to affiliate, click on done for you funnels, drop down arrow, all in one business funnel. And you want to make sure that you watch, read this information and watch the videos, any videos on this page. But what we're going to do, we're actually going to come down here and grab this title. I'm just going to copy it here. Come back over to get response going to paste in that subject okay then we're going to add the content we're going to click on design message we're just going to pick a blank template i'm going to click use template here we're going to delete the logo by clicking in this box coming over here toggling that off toggling that off come back up to layout and drag over some text that's what we're going to do right there we're going to come back over to the home business academy and we're going to copy this message right here okay we're going to copy that message come back and we're going to paste plain text we're going to move that space back up i like to make this big so i can see it and people can read it in their email i like to go up to about 16 or 18 8, 16 is pretty good. We're going to come here and I'm going to put the person's name that I'm actually setting this up for. I'm going to put his name in here. Okay. And now as you notice right here, it says, tell a quick story uh, how you learned about HBA in the 30-minute workday or whatever you want to put right there. Now that we got the email typed up, I'm um, actually where it says insert your link. What I'm going to do right here, I don't have his link yet, so I'm just going to put something in here for right now. Tell you what, I'm just going to come over here and copy and paste something. And you want to put your link either leading back to your thank you page or directly to your the VSL. And once you get the link in here, I'm going to bold all of this, but I'm just going to highlight this part right here. I'm going to come up to link. I'm going to paste it, insert it, make it a little darker blue. Okay. Now we're going to leave that just like that. We're going to click next. And we're going to come down here. There's the message. We're going to untoggle that. We're going to, let's double check, all in one. Save and publish. Okay, now we have one email in there. Let's create another one. I'm going to put day two. And you just keep following this process till you get all of your emails in here that you want in here. Okay, then I'm just going to put did did you get it because this
this is just a second email that's going out and I'm going to design this message blank template that click in this box toggle that untoggle that go back to layout drag drop and then we're going to highlight this we're going to copy this link again and this is the same process you just follow the same process for each letter that you want to insert we're going to make that color a little bluer all right then we're going to click next we got day two we need to move this up one pile to day one don't forget that there's your email always send a test message to your email as well click that save and publish Okay, now that we got two emails in there, and I'm going to go back and add some more later on. I just want to get two in here to show you inside of this video. But the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here to autoresponders, these little dots up here, rather. Come down to integrations API. We're going to come over here to API right here. We're going to generate API key. We're going to name it HBA. We're going to click generate. And there's this key we're going to copy it we're going to come back over here now we're going to go into the actual funnel builder okay so once we go into the funnel builder this is what your funnel builder will look like you can also get to the funnel builder from inside of here as well by going to hba funnel builder so when you get in your funnel builder you're going to see this page here so we're going to delete this page in a minute but the first thing we want to do is come to the little wheel we're going to come up here to applications we're going to add an application we're going to choose get response we're going to paste that key in there we're going to save and verify now he is connected to his get response account now what we want to do is set up the funnel now you see why i'm working backwards because i want to get this the auto responder set up first now we can build out the actual pages so you come here to these little funnels here click on it we're going to add a new step. I'm going to add a section label. We're going to call it all in one. I'm going to click submit. I'm going to add a new step again. Click on page. Scroll down this list here until you see all in one business. Click on that. We're going to get the first capture page. We're just going to select it. We're going to name it all in one. Okay, I'm going to put this, I'm going to abbreviate it, okay, um, and we're going to click, I'm going to put one here, okay, and we're going to click add, and I'm going to do it up here, uh, there. we'll just, yeah, we're going to do it up here as well, just for, so we'll know, keep the pages separate, the, the capture page, we have two capture pages. Okay, so now we got this page. We're going to come back over to funnels again. We're going to add a new step. We're going to click on page. We're going to come down to all in one business. We're going to click on select. We're going to put in one. Thank you. And we're going to come here. We're going to go uh, abbreviate it. Thank you. I'm going to click add. Okay, now we got those two pages in here. So what we're going to do, we're going to click the little arrow up here. We're going to go back. And now we're going to start connecting things together. So the first thing I want to do is just scroll down here to this button down here at the bottom. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to click on link it. Come to next funnel step. Come down to back to opt-in. Select going to scroll up going to come to this button here link it back to opt-in select and then we're going to come here we're going to click on this we're going to click on the little edit settings and now this is where we can do all of our setting up of things so what we want to do 
once I'm going to rename this because when this is emailed to you, when this is emailed to you, you will know what opt-in page that came in on. So we're going to go here. We want to make sure we got funnels. Next step, we're going to choose thank you. And we're going to select. And another thing we're going to do is while we got this open, you can click on your get response setting. Here is where you can choose your list, but we're not going to choose the list right now. I want to test something out first. Okay. So, well, yeah, we're going to choose it. We're going to choose it and we're going to confirm. Now, all of that is connected together. What we want to do next is come over to the next step in the funnel, clicking that arrow, and we want to set up these two buttons here this button and this button here okay so on this button here if this was my page i would just click link go to external link let me copy my link over here and i'm going to put it in right there we're going to select it and let me see right quick if i can grab a another link for this escape plan so give me a minute to do that so in order to do that you're going to log into your sam cards back office and you're going to come over here and you're just going to scroll down until you see the escape plan which is right here come across and copy this copy it come back over to your funnels okay click here link we're going to go external link we're going to paste that there and this we're going to open in a new tab okay and we're going to select it and we're going to save it now let's see and make sure everything is connected together so what i want to do is want to go right here i want to show in a new tab i'm going to come back over here i'm going to click this one and show in a new tab now we got both pages open. I'm delete that page. Now what I want to do is I'm going to enter my information and make sure everything is working right. So let's go over here. I'm going to click on just going to put in rich. I'm going to enter my email. Okay, and we're going to say give me access. Boom, it takes me to that page. If we click this button, it now opens up the 30 minute workday for you. And if someone should click this button, it's actually going to open up that page there, the VSL. Okay, so that is connected. That is good. Let's go over to our autoresponder. Let's go back to list. Let's look at contacts. And there go one contact in there already. Okay, so we're good to go. Let's go back to list again. Let's check our email. I just want to see show autoresponders. Okay, they're on. So what we're going to do now, we're going to come over here and we're going to go to my email. Make sure we got it. do it this way okay and there it is there's the email right there so everything's connected and working good so the next thing we the next thing we want to do is we're going to add one more page in here to this funnel so we're going to come back over here to funnels and we're going to add a new step and we're going to click add a page again come back down to the all-in-one business okay and we're going to come over here and we're going to get this other capture page we're going to select it we're going to name it all in one page two okay and we're going to do abbreviate one two and we're going to add it now what i'm going to do different here is I'm actually, I'm not going to connect it to this page here, okay? 
we're going to send this one here straight to the VSAO. So what you want to do is click here, click on the little edit settings. You want to make sure we connect everything. We're going to go copy my link to the VSAO to your video sales page. Go here, click on external link. We're going to paste it there. We're going to do the same tab. We're going to select it, choose your get response setting all in one. We're going to confirm. Then we're going to save. And what we're going to do here is we're going to view it, show it in a new tab. Now, when someone entered their information here, it should go straight to that next page. So we're going to do it again. Mm -mm. I'm just going to say rich. And we're going to enter email. On email in dot com. Gonna click on that, and boom, it's gonna take us to the VSL. Let's go back over to the auto responders again. Let's go to list. Let's go to contacts. Show contacts. Okay, there I am in there again. I'm going to come over here. Let's go to this email. And we're going to go to inbox. And let's see if we got anything from him yet. Okay, so let's just give it a minute for it to roll in. So it should be on the way shortly. But anyway, that's how you connect everything. And that's how you put it all together. So... Let's go back over here and look at the, okay, so we got these emails in here. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to delete this information out of here. So it won't be counting towards his, his quota or leads that he have in his system. But that's pretty much how you set everything up and get everything up and going. That's how you set up your all in one $25 digital business. Okay. So it's that simple. The tedious part is really putting the letters inside of the autoresponder. And so what you're going to do is just once again, you're going to hit list. You're going to create a list. And when you want to put in an autoresponder, add another autoresponder, come up here to the little dots, go down to autoresponders. Okay. Make sure over here that you're on the all in one on this little drop down. Okay. All in one, you click on create an autoresponder and just go through the process again. So we got two delivered. So it says, let's go back over here and check again. And boom, there it is from Danzel. Okay. So the information is there. Everything is working well. That's how you, that's as simple as it is to set up the system and get it up and going. And now I'm going to have to come back in here. I'm going to add about three more emails in here for him. So he can be ready to go. He'll have five days worth of emails to go out. His funnel is together. He will just simply take this link up here in the right hand corner right here. Okay. On this one. And on this first one here. Okay. These are his links. Okay. So he'll be good to go. So once we get his funnel in, what you can do, what you want to do is actually delete this here so you click here delete yes perfect handshake delete yes now this becomes his main funnel and if we wanted to move these pages up or down we can do that as well okay so we're going to leave it just like that right there let everything stay the same and he is good to go so that's how you set up your all-in-one system if you want to get your all-in-one system, uh, $25 digital business, just go ahead and click the link in the description. Get in contact with me if you need help setting up this system. I don't mind helping you. I want to get you plugged into the community. Connect with me on Facebook. Call me. Give me a text message. My information is below. I look forward to working with you. I want you to have a great day today and a better day tomorrow. Peace.